Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my top 10 bags that are not or mess bags. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this video. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Malin and I do videos and vlogs about luxury fashion, handbags and shoes. So if that's something you like, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So yeah, uh, this was a requested video. I know that I have talked a lot about Hermes bags on my channel and it is pretty much the brand that I'm buying bags from and also buying luxury things from because I prioritize that over anything else. I know I have been a little bit obsessed with Hermes, but today I thought that I could share my top 10 bags from other brands that I really like. I have tried to pick bags from many different brands, but I saw that I have quite a few bags from uh, some of the brands. And yeah, so let's start with number 10. Number 10 is a bag that I have had on loan. And since I had it on loan, I have kind of missed it a little bit because I felt that when I had it, it was very easy to style and also very easy to grab and go. And the bag that I'm talking about is a Bottega Jody. It is a bag that I have liked for a long time, uh, but I haven't been sure about the size. Um, I would say that before I was pretty much more into uh, the mini size, but now I think I am more into the teen size because I feel that it can fit a little bit more. And also when it comes to the practicality, I like mini bags, but I also like bags that I can put my beanie in if I am wearing a beanie and when I loaned it from Vintage Fever it was in December and then I had my beanie on and it was very practical to just put it in the bag with the mini size I couldn't have done that and also I think it is very practical that I can have it on my shoulder and also on the crook of my arm and that I have been a little bit afraid of when I considered the jean size was that it has to be full to look good, but after I tried it, I still had my card holder lipstick and pretty much that. Um, and I still think it looked good. So I think I would like it in the teen size. Uh, I think it is the perfect size because the larger size, I think it is a little bit too large, um, especially for me who don't carry that much. And I think I would like it in either black or chocolate. The one that I loaned was in black, if I remember correctly. And it was very beautiful with my black coat and my style. So it is a bag that I'm thinking about maybe adding to my collection. Um, and yeah, um, it is a brand that I like. <laughs> and over to number nine is the Celine Cabas drawstring tote. And this is a tote that I have talked about many times on my channel before. And the reason why I like it is the simplicity of the tote, but also I need a tote <laughs> because I quite recently delivered back my Dior book tote and I don't want to get another book tote. So I'm looking for a bag that I can use for a travel bag, but also use when I'm carrying my Mac. And for now, I don't have anything. My Birkin is too small for that and I feel that I need a tote that I can have my Mac in and also a travel bag. And I think that would be perfect because it's a drawstring tote so you can easily uh, close it a little bit than for example the Dior book tote that you couldn't close. Um, and also compared to the Jody, I think this one is a better alternative for travel because if I have my Mac inside it, in the Jody, it would be very heavy to carry on the shoulder. And also I normally have my uh, travel bag on my carry-on. So I think it is easier to have the Celine tote on my carry-on compared to the Jody because it isn't flat in the bottom. It is a tote that I really want. And I also really like the Celine logo. I think it is very elegant and also very my style because I don't like big logos, uh, but I also like the simplicity of the logo because it is very big, but also very unnoticeable, but also noticeable, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, and yeah, I also think the Celine bags are very good quality. I tried it on in Oslo here um, some years ago in the brown, and I also think it's beautiful, but 
I would prefer the black one. And over to another bag that I also really like is the Celine Triumph. I have also talked about it many times before on my channel. <laughs> Um, but I haven't bought it yet and the reason why I haven't done that is because I haven't been sure about which size and which model I would get it in. For now I think I'm more on the classical side, so I think I would like it in medium. But something that I have gotten my eyes up for when it comes to this specific bag, because there is an influencer that I have seen with this specific bag that I think is so beautiful because it is something different than all the other Celine Triumph bags, but also it kind of looks the same. I think I would like it in Black Lizard, um, because I think it is something special with it, and it sticks out a little bit from all the other bags, because I know this is a very popular bag. Um, and I also really like special bags that not many people have. Um, so I think this is the perfect combination that I have been looking for. And number seven uh, is something that I haven't talked about before, but it is something that I have been heavily influenced by during the past months now. And it is actually a bag from Totem, and it is the Tea Lock bag. Um, I think it is very elegant, but also very understated, but also at the same time very unique. Um, I like these kind of bags that is a little bit more on the round shape and also a little bit smaller. And I also think it is very, very elegant. Um, I would like it in black with gold, of course. <laughs> and I, I think it is just a perfect bag and I have seen many people style it very well. And I think it would be a perfect bag for everyday wear, but also when I'm dressing up a little bit, for example, with a satin dress, I think it looks beautiful. Totem is usually a brand that I'm only considering ready to wear and shoes from, but it is actually a bag that I want from them, which is very unusual. And also it isn't that expensive. I think it is around uh, 1000 US dollars, if I'm not wrong, uh, which isn't that bad uh, in my mind. And number six is the Prada Clio. This is also a bag that I have been eyeing for such a long time now, but I have never decided which one I really wanted. Because when I lived in Paris, I tried on the green Prada Clio with crystals. It was very beautiful and also the color was perfect. And before that, I thought that I wanted the black shiny leather. But now when I searched the Prada site for a little while ago, I saw that they had one with black crystals. And it was something that really caught my eye because I think with the black one you can wear it a lot more than the green um, because I already have my green or Kelly. So I think it would be better for me to have it in a different color so they are not that similar. Um, and also I think black can also be very elegant with the crystals. I'm imagining myself when I'm sitting in a fancy restaurant in Paris with the Prada Clio in black crystals and the lighting is a little bit low. I think it would be very, very beautiful. Um, number five is actually another Bottega bag <laughs> because I don't know about this list, but when I thought about bags that I'm liking, many Bottega bags in mind, and that's also very strange because I think about it myself. Bottega isn't a brand that I'm such a big fan of, but I really think they have done something brilliant for some years now. And now I have multiple bags from Bottega that I really like. Um, but the bag that I'm talking about now is the Bottega Andiamo. Uh, this is a bag that I have tried in the Oslo store before, but I think I would like it in the East West design, which is a little bit more rectangular. The other one is a little bit longer. I really like the detail with the bow in the front and I think I would like it in fondant, which is their brown color. I think it is very beautiful. And also with this one, gold hardware and the brown, I think it looks so beautiful together. And number four on my list, and I know there are divided opinions about this bag <laughs> because I understand where the thoughts are coming from because this is supposed to be the new mini Kali bag. But the bag that I'm talking about is the Loro Piana Extra Pocket in L 
19, I think it is called. I know that many people says that this is the new Mini Kali and everything. I think it is a very beautiful bag and also I really like that it is understated. And as you know, if you have followed me for a while, I like mini bags. I also think this bag looks so beautiful in the summertime when you're wearing dresses and lighter clothes. I think it is very beautiful and also a very practical bag because you have the zipper uh, and not the closure that the Mini Kelly has. And also I think it comes with a crossbody strap or a shoulder strap. And I also really like that you have different leathers. Um, the one that I am eyeing is of course in ostrich, but also I really like the one in white with calf leather. But I would really like one in ostrich in green. I think that would be beautiful and suit my style very well. Uh, however, I think it is more like a summer bag, but I think you can use it in the winter time, but I would have worn it mostly in the summer. Um, and also the white one, I also think it is very beautiful. Um, <laughs> uh, the next bag is also from Bottega. <laughs> it is a bag that I have been eyeing for also a long time. And it is the Bottega sardine bag. It is a bag that I have seen many times and I have also tried it many times in all the different sizes. And I think I'm ending up with liking the classic size more. Uh, I also think the mini size is very beautiful, but you can fit a little bit more in it. With this one, um, as it is with all the Bottega bags, either black or in chocolate, I think I would prefer chocolate over black. Uh, and also with gold hardware, of course. There is something about it that I really like. However, it is kind of heavy because you have the metal handle, um, but I still think it is very fun and a very unique bag, in my opinion. It is just something about it that really speaks to me. <laughs> um, and I know that I'm picking a little bit boring colors because if you compare it to my Hermes collection because I have a green Kelly and I also have a orange mini Kelly but a thing that I think I'm missing with this list is that I'm missing a everyday kind of bag that I don't need to think about uh, when it comes to color transfer or um, a bag that I can wear with everything. I feel that I can wear my bags with everything but at the same time I don't have a black everyday bag um, because my Dior Bobby is uh, also on repair and now we have come to place number two on my list and I know that this is also a bag that has many divided opinions about and it is a bag from the row and of course it is the Margot and I feel that the reason why people have a problem with this one is because people say it is the new Birkin and I understand that you cannot compete with a Birkin. And also another thing that I feel is the issue with this bag <laughs> when it comes to other people's opinion is the price because the price is very high compared to other brands in the same category. But with that said, I really like the bag. I think it is very minimalistic and also very classic. It will never go out of style and it is just something about it that speaks also to me. Um, and the bag that speaks the most to me, I think it is the one in brown suede. I think it is so, so beautiful. And I wouldn't like it in a big size. I know that many pick the biggest size or one of the bigger sizes, but I think I would like it in either 10 or 15. And of course in suede brown, <laughs> that's the one that I, have been eyeing. I think the suede is done perfectly on this one because I'm not the biggest fan of suede. For example, I haven't liked any of the suede bags from YSL um, because I think they look a little bit weird. And also there are mess bags that is in suede. I like some of them, especially the Kelly cut in suede, but I think a Kelly for me in all suede, I think that would be a little bit too much but I feel that with this one it looks very beautiful and it is not too much for me. And now we have come to number one and this is a brand that I haven't talked about on this list before now and this is also a brand that I have kind of avoided a little bit because of personal reasons but also because the video was bags that I like that are not from Hermes but I also think this 
brand comes in the same category because it is expensive and it is one of the most known brands and it is Chanel. Uh, I also want some other bags from Chanel but I think at the price point they are on now I don't think they are worth it and the only buy that I really really like from Chanel and the only buy that I will buy as it is now I know that I will buy a classic flap sometime uh, but I don't know if I will buy it pre-loved or if I will buy it brand new. There is also another bag from Chanel that I really like. It is called the Chanel Kelly, uh, but I don't think that's the name of it that Chanel has called it. Uh, it is also very beautiful, but the bag that I have on my first space is the flat bag with top handle. And I would like it in black, which gold hardware. And this is a bag that I have talked about since it came out on my channel. Um, the first one that I really liked was in this ivory white kind of color. It was very beautiful. It was in caviar leather because the bag came out only in caviar. And I think that was the one that really caught my eye. But now they are only making it in lambskin. But it is still a bag that I have tried many times in the boutique. And it is a bag that I really like. I think it is because of the practicality, kind of like a mini Kelly, but at the same time it is easier and also you have a longer strap so you can wear it crossbody. I cannot wear my mini Kelly crossbody and I also think it is very elegant. You get that Chanel heritage design but with the top handle twist which fits me perfectly because I also really like to wear my bags like this. Um, so I think it is a very beautiful bag. And it is the bag that I'm liking the most from another brand that is not Hermes. <laughs> and yeah, and I think that was my top 10 bags that are not from Hermes. Um, and from now on, I will talk a little bit more about other brands than Hermes. I know that I have been really obsessed with it and I have only bought Hermes. But now it has started to change a little bit because I am open to many other brands now and there are other brands that I think is worth it as well and are less expensive than Hermes but of course I will always have my love for Hermes. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of different video and if you have any video requests or anything please let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching and if you're not done watching me yet here is another video and goodbye.